guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Spanish Aperita, aka Miss Wit. And when you see me seated down, guys, you already know it's a sit down video. In today's episode, I'm gonna give you a major, major, major life update. Stay tuned. Where do I start, guys? You remember this video over here? Yes, a video about me moving out. So, what did you think about that house? The house looked amazing, it was beautiful, but I'm telling you guys, you know, when the first time you go to see a house, you are all excited. Oh my goodness, it's amazing, it's modern, open plan kitchen that I've been looking for. I don't know what, na na na. A few things that you just love and you're just like, mm -mm, I'm putting down a deposit. You can't actually like just think about it. So you put down a deposit and then you go. And then when it's like one week before you move in, you come back with a tape. You go around measuring because already you know what and what will occupy where. And for me, it's the dining, dining, dining. When we were constructing my dining table with Rosie, we did actually like consider one, how the table will go outside the room. Second, how movable or how portable is the table. So I'm telling you guys, the table is actually bigger. I know it's a, it, it sits six people. Yes, it's fine because I know in the near future I'm gonna like have a family and maybe we are going to be using it. But you know, for one person, I just wish I was in my mind or in the near future to just see that when you move out, you will be falling into a lot of trouble. It didn't actually cross my mind at that moment. But now, guys, you know, when I find a house, the first thing is I have to go into the living room with my tape to just make sure that I have 230 centimeters by six feet for my dining area. And I also have another space for my couch. Because where the problems I'm going through, my Jesus, hallelujah, the space that was actually remaining was so little that I don't know. And guys, you know, with the sofa that I want to bring in, it's actually somehow bulky. And I'm just like, mm, am I actually like making the right choice with the kind of seat that I want? So that actually brings me to my next point. It's like, I'm um, actually like rethinking my option for my couch, but I just know deep down, I want this couch. But what do I do to make sure I get a house a good house that I want, a house that gives me all I want, except that in Nairobi, you can never have all, everything or whatever you want in just one house. Rare. But I'm going to try and continue looking around, guys, because I believe if I'm paying a certain amount of money to get a certain service, I think I should be able to get, right? So that's why, like, I'm continuing the process. I'm actually, like, just, like, I decided, like, mm-mm. We are not actually moving in this weekend. Just hold on for a little bit, maybe three weeks or up to a month, and just and just see like what can we do to make sure that we are getting the value for our money. So I'm still at, on that point actually. So looking at that house, it was amazing, pretty, uh, master on suit, oh open plan kitchen, big windows, big door, laundry area, blah blah, the tiling. You know everything was actually perfect, but. Okay, okay, it's perfect, but is it perfect for me? That's the question, right? Is it perfect for me? Because I'm the one who's paying those thousands to be in that house, right? So I'm just like going through everything, all options that I have, and I'm just like, mm, I'm trying to see like, what can I do actually to just make sure I'm getting what I want? And because guys, something I did mention is, this house I'm looking for, this is going to be my dream rental or my forever rental, if you wish. Why am I saying this, guys? I think over the last few years, I've just I've just been moving here and here, here and here, not settling down. But now, when I move, 
I want to be in a place whereby I just know if I have to leave that space, maybe there's a state of emergency. If not, maybe I die. And if I don't die, just maybe, just, just, 5% just, maybe, moving to my home or my family home, if you wish. So, looking at all odds, guys, I just think I need something that I'm going to be in, even if for five years and not get tired. A good place that I know, even if I wake up at this time, I'll be at work by this time. A place whereby I know security is guaranteed. A place where I know I have parking and nobody's going to disturb me where I'm parking or do anything to my car. Somewhere where I will feel at peace. Somewhere where I will make my home. Because guys, you can have a house, but it's not a home. We all know that, right? So I'm looking for somewhere that I can actually make a home. You know? So with that house... Looking at myself and how I know, like I, I like switching up things. I like buying a few pieces. I'll be there and I'm like, oh, this wall is so empty. I want to add this. And then over time you realize, oops, it's cluttered. What do you do? You know? So I want to move into a house whereby I fit in, but I still have some little space whereby if I have to decorate my house, I have to transform my house to a home, I am able to. So that is like my key thing when I'm moving out, guys. My key thing, because if I have to move from this house and I'm moving to the next house, I just want to be sure this is it. That's why, guys, you see me, I'm in, and then a little bit of time, I'm out. I'm in, a little bit of time, I'm out. And, oh, don't actually worry about the issue of deposit. It will be returned. Yes, yes, yes. The deposit will come back to me. And... Actually, I already like mentioned to the manager for now this place and he was like, okay, when you're ready, you just tell me. And he was like, if you want maybe to, when you move out, you show me whatever happened and then I bring in a guy, you go with the guy, you buy paint, get a person to come paint, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, that is all a lot of things, even though I know it will save me a little bit of, of money, but... I think when you're just done with a place and you just want to move out, you don't have time to go back and in. I don't know you're supervising the person who rang is your fanya nidi. Because me, I told him, the room that I know you're going to paint is my bedroom because I repainted. But any other place in the house, unless you just want like to have a new coat of paint, I didn't touch anything. Even the wall, I didn't mount my TV. Like my bedroom is what like has things to be done. Like the, I placed a chandelier up. I did the curtain rods, I moved them to the far corners and repainted. But apart from that, any other room, I've not touched anything. So it's still as good as new. And then I just told him, when I move out, you'll just come, we calculate how much you'll be removing from my deposit, and then you just give me the rest after you're done with the knee. So we agreed, that is what we will do. Apart from that, guys, my next update is my Camaleonda sofa. This thing has actually stressed me out for like two months now. You talk to this person, they go come back, they are not interested. You talk to this one, they go come back, they have added a few hundreds on top. You talk to this person, they are back and they're like, I'm thinking it will be a lot of work. You're just like, what are you guys even doing? Like, we already agreed. We already discussed, you know, what is happening. So from there... I've sat down, I actually, and some of you actually asked me to talk to Miss Wiro. I talked to her, she told me actually her coach was brought in from Dubai. Is it Dubai? I think she mentioned Dubai. Uh, her sister is the one who like was there, purchased it, and then brought it back into Kenya. But now for me, I don't have anybody that I know actually there that I can actually go just with me step by step and then make sure that I have the couch here. But another option that I have, guys. Oh, and then one of you guys was gracious enough to send me a link to a page that they are making a replica of the Camaleonda. And then I looked at them, I engaged them, and they were stuck at 180. Jeez, hallelujah. Even if I have money, guys, putting 180,000 on a couch, specifically a three-seater, because that is what they said, it's a no, man, it's a no. Oh my goodness, I love my money. No, no. With 180, I can actually like just move out 
furnish my house from bedroom to living room with elegant things. But I can't take one eight place on a couch. Okay, I know you guys, some of you out there can do that, but for me, no. Because even what I was getting to just get my couch, it was not that, it was half of that, you know? So <laughs> making it locally, and then you just like give me a 180, 180, 180,000. No. So yeah, I'm not checking their deal. So instead, what am I doing? Drum rolls. I'm DIYing my couch. Got you. So, yes, guys, I have decided that I'm going to DIY my Kamadionda sofa. This weekend, I was supposed like to go and find wood and everything. I wanted to go try Gikomba. But then I had a few issues, got caught up in a, in a few events that I was running. And then, you know, when you go to events and then you drink and then you come back, you just feel like, I'm tired with life. I want to sleep. So I didn't manage to wake up and go to Gikosh. And I know going there on a Sunday is just like <sighs> killing a bird with 10 stones. <laughs> so, yeah. So I have decided... Okay, next weekend, I think I have a thing to do. I'm not sure if I will go, but if I don't, I might just go to Gikosh and get those pieces of wood. Come try make one framework and then see how it's going. If it fails, I have a plan B. Are you ready for plan B, guys? So if I don't manage to like make myself a couch, are you ready? got a certain design of a couch that I can make here locally and it will only cost me 50 G's. Look at that. Look at how genius Miss Sweet is. Hallelujah. So yes, if I don't manage to get my Kamalionda, I'm going to bring in another design that I, actually it exists here in Kenya, but not so many people have it. So I decided mm, I'm going to have that. If Kamalionda fails, I'm going to go for that. So I have a plan B for my Kamalionda sofa. And the third thing that you guys are actually pressurizing me there on my IG. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. So on that point, if you guys are not following me on IG, you need to make sure follow me there. Just S underscore 254. Yes, representing Kenya. So yes, follow me on IG at just S underscore 254. So let me tell you, people are pressurizing me on the on the inbox there on my DMs and they're like, Miss Witch, we know you are single. What is your next step? And I'm just like, why do you think that when somebody is single, they need to get their next steps in order like right away? Who told you that, guys? These things take time, you know? Because most people break up with their partners. Sometimes they tend to go back. Sometimes they tend to just like live their life and forget everything. Sometimes they just like, ah, peace. No, no more relationships, no? So like for me, I am number two. What did I say for point two? You'll have to play back and hear what I said. <laughs> so yes, I am taking my time, guys. I just like want to see how this thing is. I want like to see myself as a person and I don't want like to be, you know, when you are attached or you feel like I can't do this because so and so is not here or I don't know what and what like, I don't want that. I just want to be able to be like, I can do this because I can. I can do this because I want to, you know? So that is the kind of thing that or approach that I'm taking at this time and maybe in the near future i'll continue with it so yes those are the three updates that i wanted to share with you because you guys are killing me you just let me switch update on the couch update on the moving did you move are we still waiting yes i've not moved i'm still waiting i'm waiting guys i'm waiting you know finding a dream home finding a forever rental it's not really that easy. And so let me just tell you, 
the first time I was exploring uh, Ruaka, and now I've like have switched up my whatever, and now I'm trying to explore Lower Kabete. So stay tuned for more house hunting videos from Lower Kabete because I will go there, check out the environment, see if we will be comfortable there, see if Gigi can get few friends from there because I know Lower Kabete is just another level of Gishagi, you know. And I'm telling you, I can't wait for me to wake up in the morning and I'm just going outside the gate, I'm going to get mail from a farm and not a shop see my life <laughs> my dreams are actually valid yes so guys that was all for the update from me sweetest peace and i'm out i will see you guys on the next one